today I am going to be showing you how to totally eliminate all these resume fixers and resume writers and all of this jazz that's charging you hundreds of dollars they're gone all right forget about them I'm gonna show you how to literally make the perfect resume for whatever specific job you need for free this is a game changer y'all I'm using chat GPT What's going on y'all? Y'all already know Tech Bag Trey back with another one. So like I just said, I'm going to be showing you how to literally use ChatGPT, you know, all this this new AI, right? Um, I'm going to show you how to use it to try and help you get some interviews, get your foot in the door to at least be able to show yourself to these employers. Now, what are we going to be using ChatGPT to do? We're going to use it to literally take the description of the jobs, plug it into ChatGPT, while also plugging in your resume and your experience, and then we're going to blend it together. We're going to tell it to make us a little concoction, right, of all the best things from this description and make what we have done in the past look real good to these employers based off of the stuff that they're looking for all right so with that being said we're gonna jump into the computer and we're gonna see if we can work some magic i don't know let's see what it do i don't know all right so this is a example cv as you can see matilda manning i asked chat gbt to act as an experienced career advisor i would like you to reword and make the cv below better for a sales development rep position and then I just copied and pasted the whole CV that um, was an example from Google right so you can see she worked at Zara and was a junior customer assistant at H&M so really just customer assistant work nothing like too crazy on like sales or anything so after we went um, you know after I typed that in I pressed enter and then after that, it gave me, um, as I scroll down here, because like I said, I pre-did a lot of it. I will show you what it looks like real time. So here's a revised version of the CV. And then it gave me a little, you know, brief overview at the top. It gave me some bullet points, right? Um, and then it even added education because I said make it better for a sales development rep position. Nonetheless, remember guys, if it does add something you can take it off the whole thing is make uh, allowing it to reword really uh, your current experience and what you have and reword it the best way possible you can always edit the numbers because as you can see um, it will add in some numbers to some things change it to what it really should be you know whatever those numbers actually are it's just making it better for the position so after that, I asked ChatGPT, I said, add some measurable results to the bullet points in the experience section of the CV. And as you can see, it definitely did. So it added the bullet points, measurable results, 75,000 in revenue. Whatever your actual number was, just plug that in, right? It's nothing hard about that, but it's giving you a good layout on what a good resume would look like in this position i said i would give you all a overview of what it looks like when you're actually inputting this stuff into chat gpt i asked it to pull out all the keywords from the job listing below and basically i copied and pasted um, a random description from a job on linkedin jobs right and i just copied and, and pasted the whole thing under that prompt and once you do that it will you know start doing this thing and so as you can see these are all the keywords that were listed inside of that one job listing you can do this yourself obviously but one do you know all the the keywords that are supposed to be you know good for this job bro two how long is that going to take you because it took this a few seconds right so think about that then I asked it, I said, hey, 
please add these keywords to the experience section below where possible. And all I did was copy the experience section um, of the CV, the updated CV, right? And once I did that, it added in the keywords where it made sense to the CV or to the experience section of this resume. And then even added the rest down at the bottom. As you can see, it says keywords and it's just, you know, all the good ones. So after that, you know, ultimately I'm pretty much done with this, right? This is specifically tailored for this job role and I can just send this resume in to them. I know the um, ATS system is definitely not going to kick this resume out, right? Because it has everything it's looking for. But lastly, um, I said to add bullet points to the experience section um, above. And basically, I was just being lazy. You could easily go through and re-add the bullet points yourself. But I mean, who wants to do that when it can do it for you in, you know, half a second? So with that being said, that's really um, all I would have to do on this one. And you can do this before every um, application that you fill out and, you know, ultimately really increase your chances of getting the interviews, right? Getting the callbacks. That's what we're doing this for. So um, good luck out there. Hopefully this helped. Man, y'all, look, I don't know about y'all, but to me, that is absolutely crazy. The fact that you could do that with any type of job listing, all you have to do is plug and play, right? So I'm going to leave the link in the description on how to get to chat GPT so that you can, you know, pretty much follow those prompts. I'll actually, I'll leave the prompts in order because I know it was kind of hard to maybe read them or follow along. So I'll leave one, two, three, four in the description. That way you can just kind of copy and paste type of deal. But yeah, just understand times are, are changing in the way that we can use technology. And for me, it looks like an opportunity, an opportunity to level the playing field, right? You know, if you don't have five, $600 to have somebody come in and restructure your resume and give you, you know, all the best keywords and the, you know, just for one style of job, right? But I can do this with a sales development rep role and tailor it to each specific application that I fill out. So not just a blanket one for specifically sales development rep or business development rep, but literally for this particular company, this is the keywords that was in the job listing. And this is my resume chock full of everything that they were asking for. Why would you not give me at least an interview right now? After that, it's on you, right? The whole thing about this is to get you in the door. You know, sometimes it might feel like, you know, you're just knocking and nobody's letting you in. It could be because you don't have the keywords inside of your resume and they're just not even seeing it, right? Some of these job listings, I was talking with uh, a coaching client a few days ago and he was, you know, kind of discouraged or kind of asking questions on, you know, well, I look and I see that the application has been filled out five, 600 times, right? 300 times. And it kind of just deters him from even filling it out. And here's what I told him. Number one, th nobody's looking at 300 applications. All right, it's gonna go through a system called the ATS. And that ATS is gonna knock out probably over half of them because they don't have the keywords or they don't have what that company was looking for. So, you know, that cuts that down then you go into really just the details about um, just little bitty things that they're looking for. And if you're not reaching out to the recruiter, you're blowing it as well. So, you know, you really just want to make sure that you're doing everything you can to make that resume seen. And this is just one of the tools that you can use for free to do that. So with that being said, I'll see y'all in the next one, man. Peace.